What's up everybody, it's Jasmine. Um, so today I wanted to talk about uh, other YouTubers who are now making videos on Dr. Dre. So in the beginning it was just me who was making videos about Dr. Dre and her unusual eating habits. Mm. And so basically I was highlighting the fact that she has um, disordered eating habits because the way that she eats is not usual therefore disordered right and then um i want to talk about like just how it's not really good to be like an influencer on social media and to not uh talk about uh your struggles because it can be very uh confusing and triggering for other people um, and I see a lot of comments from people who have recovered or are recovering from anorexia who are sent videos by Dr. Dre or they've heard about Dr. Dre so they go to watch her and then they find that, you know, she's severely underweight and that it's, um, you know, it really affects them and so they can't watch her. Um, and I think uh, for me, why that upsets me and why I want to talk about it is because all you have to do like if I if I was Dr. Dre I would say like you know I'm struggling with some stuff and you know that's how it is um and then hopefully by doing that people who watch Dr. Dre wouldn't uh you know send these videos to people who have had uh, struggles in the past or who might be influenced by you know seeing these workout routines and seeing these what i eat in in a day videos and things like that um because it's really upsetting if you're a person who has been through things like that to be uh sent or recommended to watch her videos when it's like uh it's so obvious that this stuff would trigger you i mean if somebody sends me an image of somebody who's severely underweight that's gonna like really affect me i'm gonna be like you know why would you send me this this image like uh and then i would think like well maybe that's how i should look and things like that so yeah it's things like that that make me think that people should be honest about um uh, what's going on um because she's just a person who can't have the audience of people who have been through that or people who might be influenced by that like it's true you can't watch her if you've been through an eating disorder or disordered eating um and disordered thoughts because it's just it's too much and that's what people have con consistently said is that they can't watch her and i also think that because she's making these what i eat in the day videos and these exercise routines that she could affect people who haven't um already been through it that she could influence people to <coughs> get into that cycle so yeah those were my thoughts um and at the beginning it was just me making these videos which was another reason why i wanted to make them because it was like why isn't anybody talking about it and why isn't there any comments in her videos i thought that that was super weird so i just made the videos and now there's more and more pe people <coughs> who are making videos about it and giving their perspective which i think is really good because even if you don't agree with me i think it's good if you make a video about it um or talk about why you don't agree with me because it's good to have you know a dialogue around this sort of thing so um i'm really happy that other people are talking about it um especially as uh dr dre will get more and more popular then it's good that there's a place that people who are also thinking about it can go to to see you know what's being said because it's really really uh it's it's like a mind fuck <laughs> excuse my language but it, it is a mind fuck when um you see this person who's unhealthy who's underweight like she's clearly underweight um and you're like you know everybody just thinks this this is normal like it, it messes with your mind and the thing is, is that lots of people are saying like oh she's just like that because she's vegan and she exercises well, like that's what a lot of anorexics do that's what a lot of uh bulimic people do that's what a lot of orthorexic orthorexic people do you know they eat vegan and they exercise like 
it doesn't mean anything really. Like, if anything, you're kind of showing why she's got disordered eating or whatever it is. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about. Basically, I feel really relieved that other people are making videos about it. Because, honestly, I get so many, like, <laughs> weird people making comments, not only on those videos, but going on other videos and just talking trash. And it's like, <laughs> what? This is so weird. But now it feels a lot better that there's other people. Because then I don't feel alone. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys all next time. I'm eating a Semla, if anybody was interested it's um a traditional sweetest dish that you end at like the end of um some sort of fasting period but nobody does the fast so i don't know we just eat it anyway i'll see you guys all next time hey north